Whoa, what's up guys? Sinister Talk here for a video and this video install will be me doing some movie reviews, some Blu-rays I got recently and also some retro goodness which I always love with some VHS titles. I'm going to throw at you a couple of recommendations that I like to throw at you guys out there so if you guys can find those out in the wild, that'd be awesome. So now, let's get down to it and talk about some blues, huh? Let's do it right now. First yeah. up here by Arrow Video, I'm definitely excited about this release is this one by Frank Heckenlauter is Brain Damage, also the basket case and this one I right here, I have that video tape which is the classic Frankenhooker. You want a date, want a date. Too bad my tape doesn't have the little button which just says you want a date, but great one. Have basket case on Blu-ray somewhere in there, but this one, man, fun movie set. It's on DVD, but it's so great to watch this on Blu-ray. looks amazing in the trance where the colors look so good, the effects look awesome. Great, great movie. About this, uh, the movie pretty much takes place in uh, over in New York. Of this guy named Brian, he's looking for some LSD hallucinogenic drugs. Wants to you know have a good time and party, but it costs a hefty price. So he runs into this crazy parasite named Elmer, and Elmer talks. He's like, "Hello there, how are you?" He talks like that kind of, and he has the powers to has like this stuff called the juice, and it goes in your brain through your back of your neck, and it makes you have these crazy hallucinogens. But there's a price to pay for that, as Brian finds out, is that this parasite likes to eat brains so and kill and stuff like that. So in order to get, keep on getting that juice, Brian has to kill for the parasite that lives on his back. And this parasite looks like a total crazy penile gland, if you know what I mean. It really does look like a penile gland. It does. But it's a really fun, fun movie. Great 80s B-flick awesomeness right here. Let me show you guys inside this thing real quick. It's really, really good. You get a beautiful slip cover of this thing. Check it out. You get the awesome cover art. This is the new acquired artwork. You also get the old, old school cover art. This thing is everybody always does. You get the reversible cover art. Let me show you guys inside this real quickly. You get this cool booklet as Aero Video. You know, they always provide that goodness of some neat little pictures of the movie and a nice essay right up of the flick itself. And there is the Elmer. Looks like something else in the bathtub with him. It does. Looks like something. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, there it is. Brian Elmer. Check it out. Good, good stuff. This is some great 80s effects. This movie, great effects artists. Some of the effects artists worked on Spookies that made this movie. It's another great 80s movie. Some of the posters of it and things like that in this set. And great uh, features in this thing. I really love the documentary. It's almost like an hour long, the making of this. You can see it over there, all that loaded up with commentary. Great documentary. They talk about, they talk with the actor now, Brian, the, the, the guy that played Brian, talk to him, talk to the effects artists. You know, it's also really, really good stuff. Man, the whole, you know, some of the cast is on there, talk about their experiences of making the movie and how they get the idea to make the, what Elmer, what, what it looked like. It's really interesting stuff. It's, it's, it's really, really cool. Um, great documentary, great um, release of this movie. A really good movie. I'm so glad Arrow Video is putting these cool horror flicks out now. Definitely go with this out now. If you want to get this, definitely it's a great one to have in your horror collection. Brain damage is awesome. Right next up here also by Arrow Video is this one, Patroli Squarte, I must have his name. The director and writer of this movie called The Climber, starring Joe D'Alessandro, who was in these cult movies of the 70s, early 70s, you know, Flesh for Frankenstein and Blood for Dracula. And he's, he stars this movie as this young thug, uh, you know, low time, small time young thug, trying to make, make his way up in the ranks. But so he works for this mafiosa type guy. But he, he, rip, he skims some money off the top, and it's not a good thing to do for working for the mafiosos. And so they beat him, and they abduct him, and they abandon him. And then when he gets recovers and stuff, he wants to, he makes his own little gang up to take revenge on the guys that beat him, these mafia guys. So it's like two gangs fighting it out and stuff later in the movie. It's a really cool movie, good 70s stuff. Right? I really enjoyed it. Um, I really did like these like Italian shootout type movies. Really, really well made. And Joe D'Alessandro was uh, he knew Andy Warhol. He was part of the factory. He started at a really young age because I knew reason I know this because it's a really good documentary on this thing. As you can see down there, nice almost like 45 minute documentary about the his career in a sense of him now talking about it. It's cool because he's like in an interview. He's like in some living room smoking a cigarette, cussing and stuff. Has this really cool New York accent, kind of a rough voice, but really cool stories he talks about with experiences of this movie and other movies he's worked on too and a short sort of like short-lived career only lasted like a number of years in his 20s and he just stopped acting and stuff like that but really neat stuff on this thing packed on your picture looks really good good sound quality cool movie for like crime movies you definitely get a kick out of this one i really enjoyed it really really fun stuff really cool italian not like a policia but a nice cool crime movie Really, really like this a lot. I'm sure the inside of this real quick. Ray and DVD with this thing. Of course, a little booklet as Arrow does. Nice little write-up on it. Some pictures and stuff of the movie. And also get the original um, artwork poster art on this thing too. 
as they do. I really like that one. I think I'm going to switch it out with this one. I like that one a lot better. It's a really cool retro look. Them in the bell bottoms. I like that better than this one. So I think I'm going to switch it out and put that one in there. I definitely like that. But a really fun movie. If you like crime movies, like I said, you'll definitely get a kick out of this. You look at 70s kind of grit stuff. This is right up your alley. Really, really good stuff with the climber. And a coincidental, also another crime movie. This one's in Japan by director Kinju Fukasuku. I think I totally messed it up. Called Cops vs. Thugs. Pretty damn cool. I never heard this before. So I got this really fun, like a Kusa crime movie about these uh, cops, detective. He, has, he runs a small town. The detective of the town, he um, tries to keep things sort of okay with the, between these two Akuza gangs. But then after a while, all hell breaks loose and the politicians, the Akuza gangs, all want to take control of this town versus the cops. And all this crazy crap happens of who's going to take over the turf. And so it's always like crazy stabbings and shootouts and stuff in clubs and in Japan back in the day. Like in the early, this is my early 70s movie. Really cool. Uh, just like a nice, fun, like, you know, grindhouse-y kind of movie this definitely had. Pretty good, gritty movie. I definitely like this a lot, actually, too, along with The Climber. It was a good double feature because I watched these back-to-back. -back. It was a really nice double feature to watch. Like, one's, you know, Italian, one's Japanese, but they're both really cool crime movies. And this was awesome. I love the artwork of this thing with, like, the pink and all that kind of deal. This thing is loaded up with some a really cool documentary of the director and they're making this movie really really in depth almost like an hour long actually also talks about the, some of the movies in japan about these uh, kuza type gang movies they talk about that genre too a little bit in the documentary but really really cool let me show you guys inside this thing real quickly blu-ray dvd now i do like the cover art of this thing too it looks pretty cool kind of badass looking at them just sitting there that's pretty cool i definitely like that but yeah definitely a good movie like i said if you like crime movies like i saw about the thriller and other kinds of crime movies like, you know, Goodfellas and stuff like that, Scarface and what have you. You definitely get a kick out of the movies I just talked about with The Climber and Cops and Thugs. They're both crime movies, which is pretty neat. I didn't even know they were going to be like that, but I'm glad they were. But yeah, definitely a fun one packed, all kinds of goodies. And next up here, cool box set by this French director named Jacques Rivette. I'm going to probably mess up his name, but these uh, series of movies, they're all different genres, like Westerns, a thriller... Uh, drama and whatnot, and it's supposed to be four of them, but the, the director only had chance to make two of them because he fell ill. And then his assistant made the third one, but it, not that they stopped. But it's an interesting type of movies. Like they're really interesting and made in the '70s. Pretty cool genre type, interesting movies. They're all different, but they all kind of connect in a way. Pretty interesting stuff. This just came out recently by Arrow Academy line. It was a really good line because Arrow Academy shows showcases a lot of movies that never really got the light of day, or maybe they're released in Europe but not really big in the States. So kind of putting these out now so people here in the States and other places around the world can check out these kind of like good lost kind of movies. So that's what these are, the Arrow Academy line, which is right there, really, really good stuff. Show you guys inside this thing real quickly. Got like three discs, you got three movies in this thing. Check that out, it's like they all come these individual, you know, jewel cases and whatnot. Really, really neat. And they all come with DVDs and Blu-ray. Each one has, you know, Blu-ray and a DVD in there. And stuff, and then you also get this great little booklet about the director Jacques Rivette and how uh, they grew up and stuff like that, and where, he, where he's from and everything of that nature, and how these movies came about and why they wanted, to, why he wanted to make these type movies, but never got around to it because he fell ill and couldn't make any more of them. But really interesting stuff. Um, so if you want to get something like this, it is out now by Arrow Academy Line. Nice hardbound uh, box set right here. Definitely a really good one. Great features this thing about said Jacques Rivette and how they came out with the idea of these movies and other people, other film historians talking about this set and his works and anything like that. So if you like, um, I like art house, but kind of definitely arty movies, experimental type movies, surrealism type movies. Because some of these, all these, all these movies in this collection is kind of a really surrealistic vibe to it, I, I thought. So if you like stuff like that, like visually and sort of a surreal type script, you'll definitely get to enjoy the Jacques Rivette uh, collection. Right. Now we go to my little retro spec, retro thing in my VHS talks. I have two titles here. Let's talk about right now. And hopefully you guys can find these on eBay or Amazon or just find me at your local thrift store or whatnot. You can get them. There are a couple of fun ones. I'm gonna, first off, I'm going to talk about this one called Welcome to Spring Break. These might be on DVD. I think this is on DVD also. But it's a nice, fun, classic VHS of it. I kind of said a thrift shop like a long time ago. But a really cool one about this, uh, about these people that go on spring break, you know, kids and you know, college and stuff, they go on spring break. And they have a good time and party it up and have sex, drugs, and rock and roll 80s style. I think this was actually made in 1990, actually. So, yeah, 1990, so 90s style, we'll say. Almost 80s. And this crazy killer's on the loose. 
and he wears, he's on a motorcycle and wears like, it almost looks like nail gun mask or outfit. And he goes around and he kills him. And then that's what it's about pretty much. And he goes around and kills him as crazy slasher. And you get John Sachs in this thing. Michael Parks is in this. Uh, it's just a fun movie. I, I definitely enjoy Welcome to Spring Break. It's really cool, old school horror kind of stuff. So if you guys like that kind of thing, it's definitely a fun one to watch. Welcome to Spring Break. You got John Sachs in the back as a cop. But just a fun one right here. Like I said, I believe it's on DVD, this thing. But I just love the tape of this. Look at that. Love that cover. Look at that thing. It's so cool. <laughs> Next up here, my last little VHS talk about is this one, which I love by AIP Per Studios, is Trapped. Excuse me. It's Trapped Alive. Now, these two women are on Christmas Eve and route to go to a Christmas Eve party. Their car breaks down. They're stuck in the middle of nowhere and it's snowing out. And these crazy three thugs that escape from prison are on the loose where the forest area where they're at. They abduct him. They put him in this crazy, like, uh, like cave kind of deal, and they're trapped in there. And they got to find a way to get the hell out through these crazy maze of like torture rooms and like this prison cell. They have made this like makeshift, like crazy backwoods sort of thing. It's really cool, great movie, cool practical effects, and as as and a great little bunch of fun as AIP always does. If you're familiar with VHS, AIP is a really cool company. They put out a lot of wacky, weird like action flicks and horror flicks. And you get cool effects like this crazy, like, mutated guy. It looks like a, one of the thugs, but it looks like it's really weird. Like, it's these backwood people in the woods. They you know, get that hillbilly look. It's just fun. But really cool, sleazy kind of. If you like sleazy, sort of like strange, low budget movies, um, you'll definitely like Trapped Alive. It's really, really fun. Show you guys inside this what this tape looks like. There it is. Nothing too fancy, of course, but it's a fun one. It's an AIP. This is like an early 90s movie, I believe. Yeah, 1993. Um, I have a guy about. I don't know, several AIPs, I think like 10 AIP movies. Um, they're fun to get. Some of these are worth some money. I don't know if this one's on, I don't think it's on DVD. I think it's on VHS. I don't know how much it goes for. I think it goes for like 20, 30 bucks. I could be wrong. I think it goes about, I think it goes for something like that. So if you can find it for cheap on eBay or Amazon, or if you're lucky and you find it at a thrift shop, definitely I recommend checking out Trapped Alive. Uh, it says fun stuff, fun sleaze horror type movie. Definitely like this. I love that cover too. Uh, the woman in that little prison cell they get locked up and you get like this hook thing like it takes a chance to massacre a big meat hook it's good stuff right really really cool so that's it for my movies right there if you guys like any of the movies i talked about the blu-rays and stuff of course link down below where you can get that at definitely check them out good movies and also have more movies on their website too if you want to get some other stuff too really really good guys now i still want to talk about some other retro stuff i guess i'm going to bust out my trouble troll cards that i bought these like over a year ago and I never really opened them. Let's go open them one up right now and see how it looks. A nice fresh pack of troll, trouble troll cards, huh? Let's, why not, right? For the hell of it. Let's see what it looks like. These are kind of like weird cards. They have like a lot of like 90s stuff on here. Like, uh, but it's like in troll, trouble troll form. So, let me open these up. Let me just tear it apart like that. Rip it apart that way. And it's sort of like imitation garbage pill kid cards. Let's go see what these are. What is this one? This is called Rappin' Troll. Check that out with the cool kid and play 90s hair. This one is the Pig Troll. These are really cool. So they're like poor man's, you know, garbage pill kid cards, but they're just cool. And trolls. The Pickle Troll. And trolls are sort of a thing now, right? Because that troll movie. So there you go. Trolls. I bought this whole box for like seven bucks at a swap me like over a year ago. Barbecue Troll. Pretty neat. And what's this one? The Peep and Tom Troll. Look at the Pervert Troll. Look at that. I don't think you'll be having these anytime, like nowadays. I don't know if you have this kind of stuff now, but back when, you can get away with stuff like that, huh? Yeah. And you got this one right here. The Flaky Troll. Mr. Flaky Dandruff needs some head and shoulders troll. But these are pretty cool. I just wanted to do that real quickly because it's fun and random. And here's my ripped up pack now. This is from the year 1992. Check that out. 25 years old, that is. And I just ripped it up because it's cool. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. And I'll catch you guys later on my next video, which will probably be sometime over the weekend, probably. Oh, yes, and I'll catch you later then. Keep on stocking some fun flicks, and I'll see you. Boom.